Hi, I'm Bernard Parsons from Bcrypt and I'm going to give a high level overview of some of the work we've been doing with UK government uh, for mobile device management security. So in particular, we've been doing some work around creating uh, better protections for a mobile device management server, an MDM server. So MDM servers uh, can be viewed for some organizations as the unrecognized crown jewel. So there's a lot of high value information uh, for an adversary in an MDM server. So an adversary could physically geolocate um, individuals within your company or their phones, uh, could send commands to unlock them, uh, change settings on devices and so on. MDM servers, if they're compromised, that could be uh, a staging post for, for other um, malicious activity within your organization. And of course, they're uh, typically uh, subject to some fairly um, real threat. So devices themselves that they're managing, if they're compromised, then they could be a point of attack for an MDM server um, or, or other parts of the, of the ecosystem. Um, and the challenge that organizations have, and this is what led to the work that we did, uh, is that MDM servers, are t MDM servers are typically not in the most secure part of an organization's network. So just a, in a very basic uh, sense here, if we can imagine we've got something like a secure, a more secure network over here, let's call it the high side, uh, segmented from, let's say, uh, a demilitarized zone, a DMZ, which again is segmented from the internet. The challenge most organizations have is that the MDM server doesn't sit in the high side uh, where it, the greatest protection exists. If you're hosting your own MDM server, then you may recognize something like this. If you've outsourced it, if you're consuming MDM as a service, then really this problem has just been delegated to, uh, to your provider and they, they will face the same challenge that, that I'm gonna explain. And the challenge is that actually the ecosystem that the MDM server needs to interact with is going to place constraints on what the MDM server um, is required to do. It has to undertake um, proprietary communications uh, with the MD MDM ecosystem in managing devices and those uh, communications are going to be encrypted uh, end to end. So in the case of a, an iOS device we're going to have to talk to things um, via the internet, uh, like the Apple push notification service. Uh, but there are other services like the volume purchasing program and the device enrollment program that you may well be required to interact with. And those uh, uh, communications are going to be uh, encrypted such that they're not inspectable to uh, your firewall. So for most organizations, that means they can't place the MDM server here because they've then got uh, traffic going through ports that they've been required to open here uh, that they can't inspect. So the work uh, that we did with, uh, with government was to prove and then implement uh, an, an architecture that's based on the idea of having a series of proxies that exist uh, within the DMZ. And these implement all of the functionality that's required of the various parts of the Apple ecosystem. So for all intents and purposes, these appear to the outside world to be the MDM server. Um, but what it allows us to do is actually move our MDM server that has all of the high uh, value information into the high side. Um, so this disappears and the communications are now happening directly with the proxies. The traffic, uh, this side of the proxies, we're in control of and we're, we're able to then do something like put a web application firewall um, between the proxies and the firewall here should we choose to and that allows us to inspect the traffic and ensure that it's conforming to um, appropriate MDM uh, packets that we expect um, so that we can be confident that there is nothing attempting to uh, use the mobile um, ecosystem as a way of attacking uh, my infrastructure. But I also now have the ability to um, detect whether there's any data egress uh, taking place through this route. So that's a, a novel architecture that was, as I say, developed with the UK government. 
Um, it's been uh, productized, it's been deployed within government. Uh, we provide this uh, under our Pcrypt MDM offering, either as an on-premise solution or, or as a service that can be consumed in the cloud. Thank you.